Hi guys, welcome to another dev vlog. In today's dev vlog, we're going to cover off three new exciting features, including the ability to create custom waves, entity cloning, and entity deleting. So first up, we're going to start with the custom wave functionality. So if you have a look at this new section over on the far right hand side, the events. So if we expand that, we can see the six events in this map. So if you click on one of these, you can actually see some details about them. So today we'll have a look at event number two. So you can actually see there's a whole bunch of properties here. The most notable properties are going to be the entity types. So this actually tells you exactly which entity is going to be spawned. So we can see there's going to be 660 zombie dressed A's. We can see there's going to be 61 zombie venoms. And we can see there's going to be 61 strong zombies. So you can actually go ahead and edit these if you so choose. So you can change this to be 1000 if you want. 1660 to be exact. Um, you can see it was changed and then you could actually save the changes and you would have a custom wave. The message, so you can see infected coming from every direction, they are billions. So that's the message that will show up in the top left hand corner. So the other notable property is start notify time. So this is the time for the player when the wave will actually be notified on the screen. So this time is measured in hours since the start of the match. So 24 hours per one day. So you can just do the math to calculate exactly when you want the notification to display. And then you can actually set the time that the wave will start. So start time H, 1767, that's about 92 days. So some other properties here, the generators. So this is which sides you want it to come from. So the end amp thing here is actually a URL encoding for the end symbol. So this actually says the zombies are gonna come from the north side, the south side, the east side, and the west side. So if we look at a different event and look at the generators, we can actually see this pipe symbol here. The pipe symbol is actually an or, so this, this wave can actually come from the north, the south, the east, or the west. So it's going to pick one of those sides and randomly come from there. So a lot of these other properties, I'm not really sure exactly what they do. Some of them are kind of self-explanatory, like max repetitions. I assume this wave repeats four times. You can see the repeat time, so every 192 hours this wave is going to repeat. All infected to the command center. So that one, I can actually see that that, if you look at the final wave, that's actually set for this. So I'm guessing that sends every zombie into the middle. So the next feature we're actually going to cover off is the entity cloning. So the easiest way to demonstrate this, if we actually turn on the command center here, you can see my command center is actually here. If I click on that and select it, I can press clone and that'll clone out the entity. So if I enable this one, you can now see we have two command centers. And just for demonstrating it, I'll clone it again. So now we have a total of three command centers. There we go. And then deleting of entities works in a very similar way. So once again, I can just press delete. It'll, it'll prompt you, do you want to delete this? You press OK, and it'll delete the entity. So now we only have one large Doom building. The other thing to be careful of if, is if you delete all of the entities of an entity type, such as if I delete this, you'll now be left with no Doom buildings. Now you can no longer spawn Doom Buildings. So just to prove that this actually works, we're going to go ahead and save the changes. We're going to export the ZX save file. We'll just call this one. Export ZX check, we'll call this one. We're going to go ahead and load this in the game. Okay, so the game is loaded. And as you can clearly see, we have three command centers. Now I don't think it's very practical to spawn more than one command center. If I actually resume the game, sometimes these actually have energy problems and you won't be able to build anything. The other interesting thing, you can see that this, this one at the top here, this is my primary command center. I can actually build these six things. If I click on the other command centers, they actually have different things you can build. So it's a much more limited set. So this could actually make for some interesting maps. If you enjoyed this dev vlog, make sure you like the video and leave a comment. If you have any feature suggestions, make sure you leave them in the comments so that we know exactly what you want to see. And lastly, if you want to stay up to date with the progress of the level editor, Make sure you subscribe to the channel.